Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at uh, filters in Jira and how to manage filters using uh, REST API. Now in this video we will do a couple of things and hopefully this video will help you because uh, when it comes to filters in Jira, filters are really important. You can use a filter to search for issues. Basically filter is nothing but a saved search and when it comes to filters you need to basically not only create but sometimes you also, you also have to update the filters you can use your filters in your boards you can use your filters in your dashboards you can share your filters you can create subscriptions in your filters the so filters are actually really important so what i will do today i will basically do a few things basically i will try to create a filter using rest api update a filter and at the same time we will also learn how to retrieve all the filters in uh, in uh, Jira. Now, right now I'm looking at all the filters which you can see here. Basically, when you, when you go to your Jira instance, go to this option called filters and basically it will give you the list of all the filters, right? Now, of course, based on your access, you will see the filters that are uh, there in Jira where you, where you have access to those filters. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. Now, the thing that I want to talk about is uh, basically a script. Now, let us say uh, you have to retrieve all the filters. So what you can do is you can, of course, uh, uh, search for those filters using REST API. So what I have done here is I have uh, basically this, uh, this uh, script. And if I run it, I can retrieve all the filters that I have here. For example, uh, these are all the filters and uh, maybe I can search for uh, all the filters where uh, I'm trying to retrieve something with the epics. So basically, let us say there is an epic or there is a filter called closed epics. So this closed epic filter, it has an ID of uh, 10131. So let me just uh, show you this filters JQL. And uh, I can do that with uh, one more uh, script that I have written. So let us now return. Let us now get filter one zero one three four one zero one three. I forgot the name, a number one zero one three one. Was it something like that? Yes, I guess. Okay. So basically, I have another uh, filter uh, based, or I have a shell script based on REST API to retrieve the filter be using a filter ID. So if I show you the script, so the first script is basically <clears throat> not doing nothing, but uh, maybe not this one. Let me just show you the search one. So basically this script is using a uh, curl and uh, I'm uh, retrieving the, so I'm basically performing a search and uh, I'm not really doing any pagination and everything. I'm just giving you a simple example and I'm using this uh, JQ, JQ utility to pass the JSON. So this is the filter uh, or the, the REST API to search for all the filters. Similarly, to retrieve uh, details of one of the filter, what I can do, I can use uh, this REST API called REST API 3 filter. And then I am passing here the filter ID, which is basically uh, the, variable, the, the argument in my shell script. The other thing that I want to do is, let us say I want to create uh, a new filter. So let us do that. And to create a new filter, I have to pass my script few arguments. The first argument I want to pass is the is the JQL. Now, uh, of course, you need to figure out the JQL. For this example, I will simply say priority is equal to medium, right? A very simple example. The second argument is uh, filter name. So I'll type in here medium priority filter medium priority. The next argument, the last argument is uh, the description. So filter description, right? So I'm just doing it very quickly. Description and uh, of course it has uh, generated the or created the filter and the filter ID is 10133 and you can see that uh, 
first of all the response is 200 which is good so 10133 and also i can see here the of course it is not massively readable but uh, i can see here the jql somewhere where is it i think yeah this one anyways so what i will do i will uh, use my previous i'll show you the script don't worry about it so let me just search for uh, the uh, what was the name medium right so medium is no there is no medium medium priority come on so i think i have crossed how many how many issues i am i retrieving here so 10133 let us search 10133 okay so i think i'm <laughs> it is probably the pagination issue but uh, i know the filter id which is uh, the get filter 10133 and uh, i can see here the 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 uh, filter and you know basically the jquel so what if you want to modify this so what i can do is i can use the same uh, on or similar uh, script to also update the the filter and in this case the first parameter has to be the filter id 10133 and the priority should be or uh, it can be anything basically let us say i want to do and and what else uh let me do something like status is equal to open right so the name is filter medium priority open medium priority and if i press enter it will perform the update and if i go and take a look at the same uh, filter it will uh, basically show me the new jql now the script is very simple the first one is of course uh, the one to create the filter <clears throat> and by the way <clears throat> if you want to learn about these things basically there is uh, this documentation for uh, filters basically to create a filter to update a filter to search a filter so you just need to look at the examples here and uh, click on node js curl forge java and php to get some examples uh, in different languages uh, of course i prefer curl because it is always simple to run and uh, i was talking about the script to create so the main thing in the create script is so a couple of things first of all the method has to be post number 1 and then of course i'm doing my authorization and uh, blah 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 and the main thing is of course the json which you have to pass in here and when it comes to json and if you are doing it using a shell script you can always prepare prepare your json using a template because it is much more easier and neater to write down because because, because on top i have my i have all my variables like filter jql filter name filter description and then i'm using this template where i'm just uh, using uh, basically i'm just replacing the variables with uh the actual values and i'm passing that in my curl command so this is basically for creating a filter and uh, there is of course a similar script for uh, the update to the existing filter in this case of course i'm passing here or i'm i'm asking in this in the in the script the filter id which is my first argument rest of the arguments are same and i'm just using that filter id in the met in the uh, resource in the rest api endpoint and the method is put not post and that is it so th so these are the scripts and uh, i wanted to show you these things because uh, if you're doing anything with jira and if you're trying to do it programmatically using rest api you can do a lot of wonderful things using these methods simple methods Run, run your scripts and save time maybe do some audit maybe do some bulk updates and i have on my on my channel lot of videos on uh, rest api all right that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much